Hello everyone, this is Jesse Matthews with Cutting Edge Automotive Solutions and today we're going to be doing a demonstration with the Texas Truck Software on a 2017 Freightliner with a Cummins engine. So let's go over the truck and check it out. So to get to our vehicle selection we're going to go ahead and hit the Auto VIN Scan under Freightliner. It's going to ask us which engine selection we would like to select and in this particular case this is a Cummins engine so we're going to select Cummins. And from this point we have a couple different options that we can do. Um, on the left side of the screen here you'll see uh, we have wiring diagrams, we have technical data sheets, and then we also have in the middle here a global system scan which is going to scan and ping all of the modules that can be found on this truck. And from that point, if we would like to just diagnose a specific system, we can select an individual system from the drop down below. First, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about wiring diagrams. So we're going to select the wiring diagram. In this particular vehicle, we have access to wiring diagrams for the engine, for the SCR and DPF after treatment system, for the ABS, as well as the transmission. So let's start with the engine. As you can see, we have all of the major wiring diagrams covered for all of the different engine configurations. This particular vehicle happens to be an ISB 6.7 CM2350. So we're going to go down and select that. One thing I really like about the Texel wiring diagrams is they're, they're scalable vector graphics. So I can actually zoom in and zoom out as far as I'd like and I'm not going to lose the integrity of the graphic. Another really cool feature that Texa offers in their interactive wiring diagrams is the ability to search around the wiring diagram. As you can see at the top we have a component listing here and what I can actually do with that if I'm looking for a specific component on the wiring diagram I can go to that component and I can select it let's say for example oil pressure switch. I can select the oil pressure switch and, and the Texas software will automatically illuminate that specific component on the wiring diagram which is going to save the technician tons of time. From that point if you have a card available we call these device cards and essentially what that's going to do is it's going to explain the theory and operation of the system specific character characteristics of the component it's going to explain the operating principle and it's also going to give you some recommended checks with resistance values as well to be able to actually electrically test that uh, component. Okay, now that we've explained a little bit about the wiring diagrams, let's move on over to the technical data sheets. So underneath the technical data sheets, we have system sheets, system specific sheets, and we also have vehicle specific sheets. For example, under the engine you have system specific sheets relating to the VGT Cummins actuator, and what this is actually going to do is it's going to walk you through step by step if you needed to actually do a VGT installation and calibration procedure, the Texa truck software is actually going to walk you through how to do that. So as you can see, it walks you through step by step and you also have graphics as well to, to aid you in your diagnostic process. Alright, now that we've reviewed the wiring diagrams and the technical data sheets, let's jump into the diagnosis. As we spoke of before, there's a couple of different ways we can diagnose this truck. We can do a global system scan, which I highly recommend, or we can diagnose by specific system. In this instance, I'm going to do a system scan. Again, when we do the global system scan, it's actually going out and it's trying to ping every single module that can be found on this vehicle. This is a message that's just going to tell you to make sure that you have the key turned on before you start the diagnosis. Okay, now that we've run the TGS3 system scan, as you can see in the listing here, we have access to the ABS, the automatic transmission, the uh, bulkhead module, diesel injection, 
the gateway, and the instrument panel. There's a couple different colors here, and I'm going to explain what each one of those mean. So the X is going to mean that either we're not communicating with that specific system, or it doesn't exist on this truck. So this truck specifically does not actually have an AC module present on the vehicle. As you can see, we have a yellow uh, illumination here with a little warning triangle. And what that's telling us is that we're successfully communicating with the system. However, there are memory or active faults present. If we see the green check mark, that means that we're successfully communicating with that system and there are no present faults to be found. From this point, I can get an overall bird's eye view of what our, our DTCs are by clicking DTCs detected. If I click on the system, it's going to give me a more detailed uh, fault description of the faults that can be found in that system. If I'd like to diagnose a specific module, all I have to do is click this little magnifying glass or double click the module that I'm attempting to access. Okay, from this point, another thing that I really like about the Texas software is no matter if we're on this, this Freightliner with a Cummins, or we're working on a Caterpillar, or an International, or a Volvo, or a Mac, it doesn't matter. The way the Texas software is laid out remains consistent throughout all brands and all models. So when we go into the diagnosis, it's automatically going to default us to the faults page, as you can see here. To the left, and it, and it essentially works as a tab system across the top. So to the left, we have our live data. We have the ability to graph our data if we choose by simply double clicking and it will bring it up into a graph form. If I'd like to make that go back, simply double click again and it turns it back. At the bottom here you can see the little speedometer gauge. That's going to indicate that we have a dashboard function available. What the dashboard is, is basically a graphical representation of the system that you're seeing. And each one of these is drawn to the specific vehicle and the specific system that's fitted on this vehicle. So they'll look a little bit different uh, from manufacturer to manufacturer, but that's because we're drawing them specifically to that system. Another new feature that Texas just released is the ability to actually go from this dashboard function straight into the wiring diagram. So if we see a data PID, that is an erroneous data PID if it's reading um, obscure numbers or something like that and we need to go in there and actually look and see what's you know, or where that component can be found on the wiring diagram all we have to do is click we go down and we select our ISB 6.7 CM2350 and we're going to select OK and again it's going to illuminate where that's at on the wiring diagram Moving to the other tabs, we have our ECU information, which is just going to give us all of the pertinent ECU data that the ECU is pushing out. Under activations, this is going to be all of our bi-directional testing. So I like to say all of our on-off type stuff, fan test, cylinder cutouts, things of that nature. So while we're here, we're going to scroll down and show all of the different bi-directionals that are available, and then we're going to actually run a bi-directional test. We'll start with the cylinder cutout. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the vehicle. And now we're going to attempt to run a cylinder cutoff test. Another cool feature that Tex offers is a help menu. So if you're not exactly sure how to do this specific test, all you have to do is reference the help menu. And it's going to walk you through exactly how to do that specific bi-directional test. For this particular one, this is telling us what the cylinder cutoff does. It's telling us what our engine temperature must be. We're going to click out of that. Again, it's going to walk us through step by step. So in order to carry out this test, the PTO and the cruise control must be deactivated. We're going to hit confirm because we've already done that. We're going to make sure that the air conditioner is off. which it is. We're going to hit confirm again. And again, we're going to have a graphical representation of this bidirectional as well, which I think is a neat feature. If we want to shut off the first injector, all we have to do is click number one. And as you can hear, 
that shut off this first cylinder. If we click the zero button, it's going to reactivate all of the cylinders and we can systematically go through and check each cylinder one by one. It's also going to illuminate red to indicate that that specific cylinder is shut off at this current time. If you don't want to see it in a, in a graphics mode or a graphics view, all you have to do is hit the right arrow and it's going to bring it into a graph mode. So if we shut off the second cylinder here, you'll see a drop. Now that we've successfully done the cylinder cutoff test, we're going to move over to the settings tab. In the settings tab, that's everything that we can actually go in there and change. So whether that's calibration, installations, PTO configurations, emissions resets, force regenerations, and things like that. As you can see here, we have our VGT actuator calibration and installation procedure. We've got cruise control settings. We can actually change our engine idle speed our idle shutdown times, our PTO configurations, our speed limiter changes, our tire size changes, and our DPF and SCR regenerations, as well as our oil service resets. Again, this is Jesse Matthews with Cutting Edge Automotive Solutions with a quick tutorial on the Texas truck software and how it can save any tech or shop time and money.